Brittany, we're here with a Boss 182. This is an extension of the Whip Air Boss program to this airplane. You're representing it. This is kind of your baby. So yeah, tell us, tell us yeah, what's cool about yeah. this airplane. Well, this is a Boss 182. Um, basically, we've we've taken new model 182s from 1997 through uh, 2004, and we put a really big engine on it. We take out the 540, and we put a Lycoming 580 in. It's 315 horse versus 230, so that means it goes like heck. With that, we've done a bunch of upgrades of the airplane. We put new floats on, big gross weight increases from 3370 or 3500 pounds, which is increased from the factory 3100. New paint, new interior, kind of showing off everything that we can encompass at Whipper. How long did it take for you to get this, this kind of a process certified through the FAA? Were there any kind of real challenges you came into to put a bigger engine and the floats on the airplane? Oh goodness, this is a long time coming. This project took us, our engineering department, probably five, six years through certification. It looks simple, like it's just an engine, different engine bolted on this airframe, but the engineering of how we're placing the floats and what the capabilities of the airplane now are much, much different. Now I understand that they put a composite prop on this airplane as well. Is how does that affect the performance and the noise level of the airplane? Well, the propeller has passed noise testing with no problem. The prop weighs like 20 pounds less than the standard aluminum propeller. It's 82 inches and it's actually the hardest prop we've ever tested in the piston engine series. So what are some of those performance statistics? How fast? What's your cruising speed? Yeah. Max altitude? Okay. Cruising speed, 75% power, you're looking at you know 130 knots, which is faster than a new 206. It's faster than a 185. I mean, it's, it's as fast as I get in this series. Rate of climb, fully loaded at 3370, 3500. You're looking at over 1,000 feet per minute on, on an amphib, which is terrific. And how does it handle on the water? Great. And the whip line float is engineered so you don't have to work to get on the step. You put full power in and you're on the step and there you go. Now, can someone bring you their 182 and have this process done, or do you shop for an airplane and, and go through the entire process with them? Yep, so we actually have a couple conversions in progress right now to deliver this spring 2016, but you're more than welcome to bring us your 182 and, and we can retrofit it. And what would that cost? The engine is is you know 150 to 170 thousand, and the floats are, are right around 100. Okay. Well, Brittany, thanks very much for taking some time to yeah, talk absolutely. with us, and uh, it's a nice looking airplane. So I'm sure I'm sure you're getting a lot of good lookers. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Aero TV is brought to you by. Cub Crafters is unique in that we can design, prototype, and certify and put into production an aircraft. There aren't very many companies in the world that can make that claim. Since 2001, MGL Avionics has produced avionics for experimental and light sport aircraft. The flagship product is the IEFIS, a comprehensive next generation flight, engine, and navigation instrument designed to meet the demands of the modern pilot. See more at www.mglavionics.com.